everybody, it's Zero here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. In this episode, hopefully we're gonna maybe get our next team member. If I can find them. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna run from that. I meant to switch out, guys. To, uh, Seth here. But yeah, I'm I'm not completely sure where to find this Pokemon. I know it's on this route and can only be found at night. So we'll see. We will see, shall we? And between the break, I just so you guys know how quickly these are being recorded. I had enough time to unwrap a Rice Krispie Treat, take a bite, take a swig of chocolate milk, change the settings so that the recording name was different, and that was all. That, <laughs> then the recording started. So, that's how we're doing it. You guys, that excite you? Maybe it does, who knows. Um, let's see here, let's talk about some stuff. I was talking last episode, you know, Childhood Games, another one. I, I just shoehorned that in at the end, if you didn't know. But, uh, another one for me was, uh, Super Mario World. That was a bit later on, but still, it was... It was a big game for me. And it was... I hard... I, I don't think I got very far in it. Which is weird, because I, I beat Mario 2. And I know I beat the original. I think I used warp pipes, though when I was a kid. But yeah. And then, you know, later on in life, you know, there's WoW, that was a big influence. But then there was also like, Ratchet and Clank screams like junior high for me. Because I think I've said this story before, but there was a time where I would come home after school, and me and a friend would just sit around and play Ratchet and Clank for like three hours a day, and it got to a point where I was beating the game close to every day I would beat the game again. And it was Ratchet 3, if I didn't mention that. But yeah, that just... Those games are super duper nostalgic for me, and I love them. If I ever get around to getting a capture card, I will do Let's Plays of, like, two, three, uh, Tools of Destruction, and A Crack in Time. Those would be the ones, because I wasn't a super big fan of the first one. I didn't give it much of a chance, though. I may, you know, go back and give it a chance. Maybe that'll be the whole point of that Let's Play, if I do get a capture card and all that. It would be like, let's give a chance to uh, Ratchet and Clank the original. And, you know, it's... I, I just think that the predecessors are vastly superior, except Ratchet Deadlocked, and All for One, and that tower defense game. I have no idea what Insomniac was thinking with that. I heard Into the Nexus, or whatever that one was called, that was released not too long ago, is pretty good though, so I may have to check that out when I have time. I'd love to do so much, so many things. I've I've already kind of come up with this system I'm gonna do. 
I think at least once a week I'm gonna have a co-op let's play with my friend of some sort. Whether that be SWOTOR, or Castle Crashers, or fucking... We have other games that are co-op. He may get Borderlands or something, and we can uh, do that. If I get the mic I want, we may do uh, reaction vids, like him and I, you know, playing a game together, like, uh, I'd love to do that for, like, uh, uh, Outlast, or Five Nights at Freddy's. Or something like that. Not that I I hate the hype that game gets, but at the same time, it's like one of those things where it's like, okay, I can I can kind of see the hype. You know, the originality of the game is through the roof. It's completely unlike you know anything else out there. So, you know, it's it's one of those things. And I've never played it, so it might be one of the, you know, something nice to do. But, uh, you know, if I get a Yeti mic, it, it would be a hundred times easier to do that. Because there's a specific setting that I can set so that, you know, it gets a broader range of the room. Oh boy, Yosuke hit 31. What's it want to learn? A uh, screech. Fuck that. Yeah, you guys, I'm. That's kind of what I'm thinking about doing. Just to kind of spice things up a bit. But, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's get a question of the day in. Do you guys like Rice Krispie Treats? A lot of people say, you know, they're for kids. And oh, 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 the Rice Krispie Treats, they're for children. Oh, 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 oh. I personally love Rice Krispie Treats. And think anybody who says otherwise can, you know, just you know, immature a bit, you know, take, take, fucking just take things as fun, that are fun. You know, I, sometimes I think people take things way too seriously. But, uh, yeah, that's the question of the day. Do you guys like Rice Krispie Treats? Share your feelings with me on Rice Krispie Treats. <laughs> it's a bit late, but it's okay. Tomorrow's Monday, and as some of you guys may know, based on past videos, Monday is usually my, uh, kind of my break day. I go like six days a week and then Monday's like the break day where I will like edit and do some more recording or scripting if I need to do a scripted video or you know anything like that. I have a I have a couple things that I need to do tomorrow but uh you know, I'm pretty much just, I'm gonna sit and I'm, I'm probably gonna do some more recording. Gonna do the next batch of in-between plays. Well, not batch, you, you guys get what I mean, like the next part in it. And I, I don't know at this point, 
I, I drop some pretty big bombs, like life bombs, you know, things that about my life in the last Bioshock Let's Play, and I haven't really gotten any sort of response yet to whether, you know, did I go too far, did I not go far enough, was the video still entertaining? Did I reach some people? I don't know. So I think the next Bioshock is gonna be way less intense on the commentary. Mind you, this is when uh, Episode 3 came out. That's what the one I'm talking about in particular. Cool. Oh shit, we're over, guys. Um, hope you guys are having a nice day, and if not, try and make tomorrow better. I'll see you guys later on today for Battle Network, and bye, guys.